Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Subnuski, and thanks so much for stopping by the channel. So today's video has a dual purpose. Number one, I'm going to review a couple of microphones. And number two, I need some footage. How to have some video, because my next video, I am going to teach you guys how to edit your video. So I needed some footage to import to be able to do that. So I'm very excited for that video. And by the way, the app that I use to edit all of my videos is called LumaFusion, and they've just recently done an update. So it was really powerful before, but now it is insanely amazing. So let's talk about the microphone that you're hearing me on right now. This is a newer CM14 cardioid condenser vlog microphone, and this is boomed right above my head, right here, just out of the frame of the camera. I couldn't resist this microphone. I have been getting requests for microphones that are a smaller form factor because a lot of you are starting your videos just by using your phone and I thought that this would be a really great microphone for you guys to start with. So, so this microphone comes with two different pop filters. One is going to be your traditional dead kitten and this is sold a lot with different vlogging mics because people take it outside and it's really good to cut down on wind noise. It also comes with a traditional foam cover. So I have that on the microphone right now. So what do you guys think of this audio? Do you think it's clear, crisp, and clean? I don't even know what it sounds like. I have to wait to import the footage to find out how this microphone is actually going to sound. But what I wanted to do was to compare it to the Boya, the BYM1 microphone that I had done a review on a few weeks ago. And as far as I was concerned, that microphone was the absolute absolute king of the budget boom microphone. So in other words, a microphone that you can just hang above you just off frame of your camera on a boom pole or on a microphone pole and it's going to act as your studio shotgun microphone. I thought the Boya was really good, so I'm very anxious to see what this guy is going to sound like. And of course, you can use these microphones for vlogging as well. So the microphone is about a foot away from my mouth. And I would say if you're using microphones for vlog style, they're probably going to be about two feet away from you. So get ready because I'm going to pop a wide angle lens on the camera and do a little bit of a vlog style video. This way you can determine which microphone sounds best for in studio and for vlogging. So let's go ahead and pop the Boya on. So now you're listening to the Boya, the BY-M1 condenser microphone that can also be used as a vlog microphone. But right now I have it boomed above me and same distance, it's about a foot away from my mouth. Now there's no pop filter on that microphone. So I'm thinking that I probably should have taken the pop filter off of the newer microphone as well just to get a more accurate comparison between the two. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop the newer microphone back on there and remove this cute little pop filter that it comes with. But I think that this is, you know, the actual form factor of the shock mount is very interesting because it leans forward and this way you'll be able to get the microphone closer to your mouth when you have it mounted on top of your camera for vlogging. So I think that that is a very, very interesting setup that Newer came up with. So now the audio that you're hearing is the Newer CM14 cardioid condenser microphone without a windscreen. So there's nothing obstructing the actual capsule of the microphone. So let me tell you about what you get with this microphone. And this microphone was only $29.99. So you get the microphone, you get the shock mount, you get the dead cat, you get a pop filter, you get two different sets of wires. One wire is going to enable you to plug this microphone into a camera, and the other wire is going to make it possible for you to use this microphone with either a smartphone or a tablet. 
It also comes with some paperwork. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were kind enough to let us know to not to drop the microphone and to please not step on the microphone. So I just thought that was super helpful of them, right? And also not to have it out in the rain, of course, and it's it just very helpful. I appreciated that. So let's go ahead and pop both of these guys on the camera and walk around with it for a little bit. Hey guys, so the microphone that's on the camera right now is the newer CM14 microphone, and it's about a foot and a half away from my mouth, so how do you think the audio is on this guy? Is he gonna beat out the Boya BYM1? I'm very anxious to see. So, and now you're listening to the audio from the Boya, the BYM1 cardioid condenser vlog style microphone. What do you guys think? Which one sounds better to you? Is the newer CM14 gonna take the mantle as the best budget shotgun in studio microphone? Or is the Boya gonna hold on to its title? Okay guys, forgive the super wide angle because now what we're going to do is test these microphones on top of the camera. So right now I am two feet away from the Boya BY-M1 microphone and this is the audio at two feet away, at three feet away, at four feet away. So let's go ahead and throw the newer microphone on top. Okay, now this is the audio for the newer CM14 microphone at two feet away, at three feet away, at four feet away. Who's gonna win? Okay, so now we're gonna wrap up this video. And once again, I have the newer CM14 microphone boomed right over my head as the studio shotgun microphone. And it's about a foot away from my mouth. And I'm super excited to see which one is going to win. But before I wrap up, I just wanted to talk about a few of the different tools that you're going to need in order to input your media from your camera into your iPad. So the first and most essential element that you're going to need is an SD card reader. Don't fool around with this guy, okay? Get the authentic Apple SD card reader. I had gotten a very inexpensive card reader and it took forever to import all of my files and I just thought it was because they were large files. I'm like, oh well, it's, you know, it's just gonna take an hour to input a 10 minute video. I guess that's just the way it is. And then someone said to me, that's ridiculous. A 10 minute video should be done in two minutes. So I got the original Apple one and sure enough, they were right. So with some things you just cannot cut corners with, sometimes you have to shell out the extra $15. So let me tell you, I had been making videos for, I would say at least eight months with that other card reader and suffering the download times, all that time because of $15. Because I tried to save $15 on the Apple card reader. Sometimes I think about it, I get so angry with myself, but whatever. And the second element, which is not absolutely necessary, but to me it's very helpful, is going to be the Apple Pencil. I love this thing. Love it love it. It just makes editing on LumaFusion just so easy and seamless. I just love it. But absolutely, if you have a stylus, you can always use a stylus. And if you have a finger, you can always use a finger as well. So not a necessity, but an absolute necessity. Well, I thank you so much for tuning into my videos, guys. Every time I get a view or a subscriber, I tell you I'm just so happy and elated. I really do appreciate you guys. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you found any of this helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, please let me know which microphone you think won the challenge. Is it the newer CM14 or is it the Boya BY-M1? I can't wait to find out. So guys, until next time, wear your sunblock.